So if you guys are going to do a problem like this, the first thing I would do is, as I mentioned, is factor out the x. Well, I'm sorry, first thing I'd do is set f of x equal to 0. If I'm trying to find the zeros, the zeros is when f of x equals 0. So you set this equal to x. Next example is factor out any GCF, which I see that they both share an x. OK. Now, the next thing is, hopefully what I'm looking for you guys to understand or identify is a perfect square trinomial. Do you guys, is x to the fourth, is that a squared term? Yes, yes it's actually x squared times x. You could think of this as x squared times x squared, right? x squared times x, it's a squared term. It's the same term multiplied by itself. Is 36 a squared number? Yes, yes. yes but what two numbers multiply to give you 36, though, but that would add to give you negative 12? Negative 6. And then you can just check your answer. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. Negative 6 times x squared is negative 6x squared. Negative 6 times x squared is negative 6x squared. Negative 6x squared plus negative 6x squared is negative 12x squared. That's still there. Then why do we like perfect square trinomials? Because, well, it is. But we can rewrite them as x squared minus um, 6 squared. Now. Here's the, the really the main important thing I wanted to go over this with you guys was here, again, you can apply the zero product property. x equals 0, x squared minus 6 squared equals 0. Right? Since they're separated by multiplication, since they're separated by multiplication, you set them both equal to 0. Now you solve. Well, here, this 2, uh, actually, we'll get through that um, in a second. But this 2 here is um, we can undo that by taking the square root, right? So therefore, I have x equals 0 times x, x squared minus 6 equals 0. Now, to solve, you add 6. You have x squared equals positive 6. Now, here's what I want you guys to understand. When I take the square root, does anybody want to raise their hand? And tell me confidently what the value should be, confidently. Ronnie? Plus or minus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Please, thank you. I don't know if I've mentioned it as much in this class or your Algebra 2 teacher drilled it in your head. Please remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you are solving, when you are introducing a square root to solve, you have to use, you have to take the positive and the negative value. I would make sure everybody's paying attention to this to make sure that they remember this because this is what's going to prevent you from solving the next problem. Plus or minus square root of 6. So there comes a little bit of question. I'll talk about that in just a second. Um, okay, 